Oh, also the I just go online random number generator. Those are actually usually the best, depending on what uh, algorithm they use to come up with a random number. Number because it's always a pseudo random number, but depends on how pseudo it is. He also asks, "Have I ever done or will, uh, have I ever considered doing speed runs?" Um, I pride myself in being a casual gamer, and casual gamers are not really uh, very common at doing perfect runs or speed runs. Uh, a lot of people get really annoyed at perfect runs because it requires a little bit of saving and loading and stuff like that. Like, if I ever did a Half-Life 1 uh, game, I'd almost certainly do a uh, perfect run on it. Although, I don't know. Because I was able to play Heretic, and it, I didn't have to do a perfect run. Um... So I think I'd be able to play Half-Life 1 without it being a perfect run. So I think I'd be able... So uh, I actually feel as though... Well, speed runs are different than uh, perfect runs. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a speed run. It just doesn't interest me to play a game so much that I'd be able to go really quick, really fast at it. I mean, I'm really good at a lot of games, but um, it kind of takes the enjoyment out of a game like Half-Life 1 if instead of firing at the Marines, I just run past them every time. It's just like... Eh. Don't like that idea. Um, how long have I been a gamer? Uh, 23 years. Or stealing stuff. Um, how many games do you think you have and or played? Um, have, dep- that's a really hard answer, a hard question to answer, because a lot of the games that I had I've given away, um, sold to my friends or whatever when I stopped playing it, or um, got damaged from magnetism or heat because a lot of games I had were on diskettes and stuff like that. Or a lot of games were um, installed, lost the discs, and then when I reformatted the hard drive, I no longer had the game. So I've gone through quite a few games, um, and I've played. My best estimate, I mean, my estimates are between 100 and 200,000 games. Um, that's my best guess of how many games I've played. Um, a lot of them are, are much smaller games. Um, and this is included in all different games that run on a computer, so that's a lot of different different things, uh, and uh, other uh, consoles too. Okay, so Chert the Rogue asks, since you played through Spore, uh, I was wondering if it's worth the money. Um, I don't really like giving reviews or whether or not you should buy a game. I put up gameplay footage so that you can watch it and see if it's something that you would like. So I don't know what you would like. Um, if you want to send money to something instead of paying for the game, send it to me. Why not? I could always use more money. Um, New York Defender Talon asked another question, um, also as a side question. What game do you really detest the most and why? Um, that would probably be Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike Source. It's not that the game is bad. It's that the game isn't very imaginative compared to a lot of other games. And it became so popular that it just annoyed me to beyond all else. There are other, there's one other game that is just an awful game, but it doesn't even deserve mention. It's so bad. I mean, there's a lot of games that, I mean, like E.T., for example, um, uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest, there's a lot of pretty pathetic games, but um, those are actually kind of amusing in how bad they are. But this game that I'm not even willing to mention is so bad, I don't even want to mention it. I don't want to give it that much popularity. Topram Dan asks, Can I sew up the hole in his shirt? Yeah, I've had practice at that. Um, that'll be fourteen ninety-five a minute. What is my favorite animal? Um, to the best of my knowledge, something like a leopard or panther, like a black one, full black. It's a pretty cool animal. Not that I own one or anything. Just that'd be that's a really cool animal. How big is my refrigerator? How many elephants can you fit into it? Uh, standard size, probably about a fortieth of an elephant. Uh, Almighty Elemental asks, in your opinion, is the Halo series awesome or overrated? Um, there's a lot of really good first-person shooter games out there, so it's not like it was anything special for when it came out. Um, it was a very fun game. Um, I actually liked things like Unreal uh, 2 a bit more, and that was about the same time. Unreal 2 was really good, and it was nobody really even... I don't know how many people have ever played Unreal 2. But, um, yeah, I think it's a bit overrated. Um, especially in Halo 3. I think Halo 3 is way overrated. Jaded Eyes 56 asks, Are you going to do any more horror LPs? Um, I guess Fear 2 was a horror LP. Dead Space was a little bit, I guess. Um, but if, uh, 
I have never played a survival horror game. Um, so, and also, regardless, the qu- the answer is always when it gets to the top of the list, or when I randomly select it with a walkthrough roll. Richard466 asks, how often do you buy a new game? Well, you can pretty well figure that out by just looking at uh, the amount of games that I come out with every week, uh, probably about two or three. Matthew2999 asks, how do I get Sony's mm, 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 that doesn't work to work? Um, I don't even know what stupid thing you're talking about, and I don't have one, so I don't know why you're asking. Bam Dad Can asks, uh, do you have any time for yourself besides work or, or and gaming? Um, basically, um, if I'm not gaming and I'm not working, or I'm not doing the daily things like sleeping and all that and eating, um, I'm probably just watching YouTube videos. So that is my hobby, so that's what I spend my spare time on. So that's... I kind of also consider making videos as spare time sort of thing, uh, for me time. Um, that's why... The frequency is under, I mean, I control the frequency and you control the content. So if I don't feel like making a video, I don't make a video. Da Spray and Prayer asks, what did you expect when you started Let's Playing? Um, I don't know, basically this. Um, one thing I didn't expect was there's a kind of a rewarding feeling when you get success and you get like exposure and people start backing you up when like a hater comes online and start saying things or something like that. There's this rewarding feeling you get. Um, That's really the only thing I didn't expect. I kind of expected to progress and um, become more popular, but I didn't really expect what it would feel like. Did I expect I would become this popular? Actually, honestly, I felt that I was going to become popular more quickly. Um, I don't mind how long it's taking. I actually just kind of arrogant me thought I'd be a bit further than this than I am now. It's all good, though. I could probably work harder in trying to um, trade exposures with other Let's Players, um, but I think this is fine for now. It's kind of hard to keep up anyway. Uh, Bam Dad Can asks another question. Um, he wonders about my background, interests, and especially what field you are developing in, and what's my take on it. Okay, so background. Um, homeschooled for most of my life, uh, Boy Scout for quite a bit. Um, I worked for my family business for quite a while. Uh, they're in real estate and um, small business management. Uh, my cousin is in uh, PC technician stuff, and so I've dealt with a lot of all that. Um, my interests are computers and anything culture related, like music, movies. Don't really, not really interested in books. Uh, gaming, of course. Um, lots of those sort of things. Anime, um, television shows. Um, the good ones, I don't actually like television, I like television shows, like you can get on um, Hulu.com and stuff like that, little uh, plug for them. Um, and then, what field am I in? Computer science. Um, I have talked about that before, and what's my take on it? I feel, one of the things I kind of realized about computer science is you're kind of a people replacer. Um, everywhere I see a place where I could apply my knowledge of computer science, I realize that if I was to write software for them, I, every month that I was there, I'd be replacing one employee. So, it's kind of a weird feeling. Um, do I like Sid Meier's Civilization? Asked by Paperboy1995. Yes. Nesna Protas Protsdam ask, asks, what game makes you feel most nostalgic? Probably the really old games I played a long time ago, like Amy's ABCs, Think Quick, um, Mix Up Mother Goose, um, and other games like that. Maybe Reader Rabbit, those sort of things. Some of the really old ones. Another one that kind of reminds me of old times is uh, Simon's Quest, Castlevania II. If I was an animal, what animal would I be? Um, hmm. Well, the thing is, if I was a bird, I'd have to eat insects. That doesn't sound fun. Well, I could, I could be like an eagle or an owl. Ooh, an owl would be pretty sweet. I might be an owl. Because I, I eat rodents. Rodents aren't so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'd probably want to be an owl. An owl would be a cool creature to be. I don't know if that's my final answer, but that's my guess right now. 
the wise donor asks, the, uh, says, I sound like someone from IGN, and yes, if I am, and I'm like, no, but I wouldn't mind being. Sure, that'd be fun. Uh, Mr. Anthony Lynch asks, do these jeans make my hips look big? Um, no, your hips are big to begin with. Oh, okay. 